Growing up, I was in a very religious environment. God was more of an idea rather than a stable presence in my life. At the age of 13, my family started attending a new church and I was able to go on a missions trip with the youth group. And one evening, the speaker got up and he began to preach the gospel. I was able to profess faith in Christ and begin to follow him. Looking back on it, God's timing truly was perfect because two months later, I was in a life-altering accident. I had two spinal fractures, two skull fractures, a TBI, and I tore my left knee all to pieces um, and broke the growth plate in it, which ultimately led to a battle with neurological symptoms. For the next seven years of my life, I had seizures from weekly to sometimes daily. No medication worked. No treatments worked. I was in and out of the hospital from the time that I was 13 until the age of 20. I had about six surgeries over the years and four of those just being within the last two years. Seizures and neurological symptoms plagued my life and debilitated me from even being able to go to high school in person. I never went to prom, I never got to play high school sports, I never got to participate in any clubs or activities. I wasn't able to attend church in person because the lights and the noise were at such a, such a risk for me with seizures. I became sort of a shell of, of who I had known myself to be. Physical suffering stripped away every single thing that I, I thought and knew that I believed about God. My truth of the Lord had to be reshaped into the fact that the human definition of goodness is not God's definition of goodness. That even though from the outside perspective, what I was walking through wasn't good, that it was God's best for me because it was where I got to know Him and got to know His heart. I continuously was praying over and over, God, how bad does this have to get before you actually do something about it? On February 29th, I underwent a dissection of my neck around my brain. And when they got into surgery, they realized that the state of my jugular vein was 10 times worse than they had thought originally. At the age of 20, I was a walking stroke risk. And that was the answer to the prayer that I had kept praying to the Lord of, how bad does this have to get before you actually do something about it? When all along, he was doing something about it. He was preventing me from something so much worse than just a seizure. He was preventing me from having strokes and heart attacks. After surgery, we were riding in my dad's truck and I realized that colors were a lot brighter than they originally were and that I could actually see out of my peripheral vision. I didn't realize how bad things had actually gotten and how sick I actually was. And to me, that was a picture of what the gospel does. We don't realize how sick we are with sin and how much grace we actually need until God reveals it to us. Finding the treasure of God's heart, His hope, His goodness, His love, His mercy, and His grace is something that would 100% make me go through all of this again just to be able to find that treasure because He's worth it.